Hey designers, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make an invisible zipper on the side with an inseam pocket. Let's get into this. All right, designers, let's get started. These are the pieces that we're going to use. This is going to be your side seam. This is your interface, it's about seven inches. This is your pocket and your zipper. The first thing that we're gonna sew is your pocket, then your zipper. First, we're gonna talk about the side seam of your dress. So we're gonna take these pieces out. Let's pretend this is the side of your dress. This right here is your side seam. It's a half inch. That's for lining or binding, however you wanna use it to close the raw edge. From here is the top of your dress to your waist. Make sure you notch the pieces. Now from your waist down, you have to figure out where your pocket is going to start. So your pocket starts two and a half inches, three the most. You never want to go four to five inches because you're going to be searching for your pocket and you're going to be struggling and it's going to look ridiculous. <laughs> so from here to here is your opening where you put your hand in. And that's about six inches. So this is the pocket. Notch those pieces. That's a half inch right there because you need a, you need a half inch to sew. Make sure you notch all your pieces so you know where everything's at. That's your opening for your hand. So yeah, it is about six inches. Next, we're gonna go down two and a half inches because that's where we're going to sew the rest of your skirt. From there down, we're gonna sew it closed. From here up, we're gonna leave it open because that's where the zipper is gonna go after you sew the pocket. Let's get the pocket out the way. This is the right side of the fabric and this is the wrong side of the fabric. It's the same thing for the pocket. Wrong side, wrong side, and that's the right side. We're gonna use the front and we're gonna take the back out. We don't need the back now. So we're dealing with the right side of your body, the right side of the dress. I believe it is, yeah, anyway. So we're gonna use the interface and we're gonna put it in the pocket opening. Remember it's seven inches and that pocket is six. So you have a half inch and a half inch to move around. Now it's on the notch. So you're gonna sew it a half inch right here and make a line up. So it makes it better for you to sew. Next, you're gonna flip the fabric over. You see, it's on the notches. Let's go get that pocket. You're gonna put the right side to right side and match the notches from here to here. You could use clips or pins I like to use clips. You're gonna sew from here, turn all the way down and up. Also, I like to put a pin here because sometimes this piece right here moves and you really don't want that part to move when you're sewing. So I usually put a pin there just to secure it. This is what it looks like. Once you do that, you flip the fabric over Next, we're gonna cut one fourth off and we're going to snip sideways right over here, but not through the line. So let's take some of this fabric off and try to use good scissors because I really don't know where I was trying to go with those little scissors. <laughs> now we're going to snip sideways. This is how it's going to look once you snip it. See? Next, we're gonna turn the fabric and we're gonna sew on the green fabric at the edge, right over here. Not so close to the top, so like right here somewhere. 
and not so close to the bottom because we're going to turn this once it's sewn. It will be turned like this. Once you sew it, it'll look like that. All right, so let's do this. Also, make sure that you turn the fabric this way. Okay? This is what it looks like once you sew it. Next, we're going to turn the corners. Try to get it as sharp as you can get it when you steam it down because it will affect what's going to happen later on when you put the zipper. So just steam it down the best that you can. Next, we're going to put the other side of the pocket. So we're going to turn this over and we're going to turn right side to right side. We're going to pin it up all the way around like this. Also, what I usually do, I put a pin here because there's an opening here. I don't want nothing flying. I like to have things secured, so I put a pin on both sides. Next, let's turn the fabric, and I want you to take a good look at where I'm pointing. This is where you're going to start sewing, right at this corner. You're gonna put the needle down, and you're gonna sew all the way around, and you're gonna stop right here, at this corner. Your seam allowance is a half inch. You're gonna sew it all the way around, and you're gonna stop right here. Once you do that, this is what it's going to look like. Let's move on to the next step. From here all the way down to the end of your skirt, you're gonna sew it closed. The seam allowance is a half inch. Once you do that, you're gonna open it up and we're gonna work on this side. Let's push this fabric back so it doesn't interfere with this one. So we're gonna open this right here and move this one out the way. Next step is working with the zipper. Let's talk about it real quick. This right here is seven eighths, but our seam allowance is a half inch. So we don't need all this. Usually people just push it up to where it's a half inch and then they cut it off once they sew it, but I usually just cut it at the beginning. So I don't feel like going through all that mess. So I cut it a half inch. From here up is a half inch. If I have any subscribers that are beginners, I'm gonna show you something about invisible zippers. This right here is for sleeves. I don't really use it for that, I use it for everything else. When you sew in a zipper, you have to make sure that you iron the coil so that the zipper foot goes through the zipper smoothly. Trust me when I tell you, it works. Try it and you'll see what I'm talking about. The next step, we're going to get the wonder tape and we're going to put it right here. It's a double-sided tape to control the zipper from moving. And it looks like this. Now we're going to go get the zipper and we're going to use this side. But first, we're going to take this side out. Then we're gonna turn it this way. Now remember, my zipper is 3 eighths, the tape is 3 eighths, but my seam allowance is a half inch. So what you have to do is take the zipper off the fabric edge about 1 eighth. You see, I pushed it off the fabric about 1 eighth. So now it's landing on a half inch seam allowance. Invisible zippers have different sizes. They have size two, size three, size four, size five. I believe that this is a size three, but I'm gonna double check. If you had to use a half inch seam allowance, it would be a number five invisible zipper, but I don't have a number five. I will make a video on invisible zippers so I can explain it to you guys a little bit more. 
and you can have a better understanding of what size you're supposed to use. Also, they have different weights. Some are for bridal, dresses, pants, and things like that. Have you ever made a dress and the zipper popped and you was like, but what happened? And that's because you got the wrong zipper, mommy. <laughs> I'm messing with you guys. Um, if you don't have Wonder Tape, you can just uh, sew it to hold it down. There's different types of zipper foots. You have this one right here and this one. Some people like to use this one, but we're going to use this one for today. Okay, so we finished sewing it. And this is what it's going to look like. It's an invisible zipper, so you're not going to see it. Here is the inseam pocket right over here. Okay. Hopefully you guys have the same thing. I know you guys have the same thing because you guys are good at what you do, right? Okay. So we're going to open it up and we're going to do the other side. You guys know how this goes already. I don't really have to explain it too much. Next, we're going to put the Wonder Tape on the other side of the fabric. I put this in speed because you already know how this goes. Next, we're going to put the zipper. Don't forget to put the zipper 1 8 away from the fabric edge. Okay. Once you do that, you sew it and it looks like this. Now, this right here looks like wrinkles. So you have to steam it down to get it straight. So let's open the zipper and steam the back first. Okay. We're going to get a cloth and put it on top. Try to get all up in there so you could get the wrinkles out. For the front, be careful. All right. We don't want to burn the coil of the zipper. And this is what it looks like. Do you like it, guys? And I know that you guys have the same thing. All right, designers. If you want to learn how to make this pocket for a skirt, then check out this video right here. And I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to practice, practice, practice. Bye, designers. Bye.